Hey everyone, this is Gwydion with another video to show you how to stream sounds to your players. Uh, some of you may have seen my other videos that uh, show you how to stream sounds using uh, programs like Audio Movers, which is a paid program, and other free solutions like through Discord or uh, CleanFeed. And CleanFeed was my kind of go-to for, for quite a long time. Now, I found something the other day that I'd never heard of called OBS Ninja. And this is extremely powerful, completely free, and actually can be used for a lot more than what I'm going to show. This video is only intended to show you how to stream sounds to your players. However, this can be used for bringing in cameras, uh, videos, and, and uh, broadcasting it to OBS. And there is no connection to OBS. The individual that did this uh, software or this solution um, just ended up calling it OBS Ninja, and it works really well with OBS, but you don't need OBS at all. And again, it's completely free. I'll, I'll show a lot of links in the videos, but he has a number of um, places to find more information, like a subreddit, a wiki for advanced information, and also uh, a Discord channel, which he's very active in. So let's jump in. I'm actually going to show you can do rooms and actually go to this site and set a number of things up if you want to use this with an OBS. But I'm going to show you how to do this literally just straight out of your browser. So if you type in OBS Ninja and then uh, backslash question mark, you can set up any type of room you want. So I'll, I'll get rid of that for a second because I've been playing with this. But so it's OBS.Ninja backslash question mark and and then if you want to push your stream so in my case I want to push my audio push equals and you can make this room whatever you want for now I'm just going to call it Gwydion underscore 5e there's other parameters that I'll show you later and enter so now you get this screen and select an option so I'm going to share my camera but this just will um, open up a stream and you can see now that I have a number of options I don't want to use a camera. I just want to disable video. And you can see right now my audio source is my Blue Yeti mic. But I'm going to send, since I'm using Voice Meter Potato, I'm going to send the output of VAIO3. So anything that I want to play back through VAIO3 will go through um, OBS Ninja in this page. So the default output, like what I hear, I don't care about, you can switch this to whatever you want, but because I'm just using this to stream sounds to players, I don't care about the output. And then you click start. And this is really done. So now what you would do to have the players connect, you can literally just copy this link. I'm gonna open a new web browser, paste it. And instead of push, you're going to view. And I click on view. And it's going to wait, it's going to take time to load, but then you see this bar that shows up at the bottom. Because of Chrome limitations, and some of you may remember this from several years ago, it won't autoplay. So you have to make sure your players click on the play button. And once they do that, they're now connected to your stream. Now, I'm not sending anything. Here's my OBS, uh, sorry, here's my voice meter potato. Right now, I have it set so where Sirenscape will go out to B3, and B3 is voice meter uh, VAIO3. So right now I have it just this input, but you can obviously have your desktop go out to B3 or whatever you want. A2 is my headphones. So right now in OBS, you and I should both hear, since I have Sirenscape already pre-set up, so I'll open it here. Now I'm just going to play for now a, um, I'm going to start with a giant centipede battle. So now we should both be hearing that. It's pretty loud for me. Shouldn't be quite as loud for you. So I'm going to turn it down for me a little bit. But so you hear it, and the quality is, it's okay. You know, it's, it's not bad. I'm actually going to mute it for me for a second. So the quality isn't bad. However, it's, it's kind of tinny, and it's, it's not the absolute best for me. Okay, so it's, it's okay, but it's not great. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause that for a second. Go back to voice meter. But that's it. So now your players could literally, like, you could 
copy that link, this link up here in my browser, and literally you just would change the name of your room, call it whatever you want, and then you would just basically copy and email that link, send it in Discord. Um, you could send it as a message of the day to your players within Fantasy Grounds if you use that software, but literally they just connect with that link and you're good to go. Now, if you want the quality to be a little bit better, we're going to do something else. There's other parameters, and I'll post a link into the chat, but there are all kinds of parameters you can set on this to change the quality or certain functionality. So what I'm going to say is and Pro Audio 1, and all that means is it's going to come across in stereo now. So you need to do that in your push stream. And it's going to make you go through this process again, which is quick. But I'm going to go back, disable my video. I want the VAI 03 option. And then again, I don't care about my other audio. But now I need to go back and make sure that this link is updated. So again, if you want it in stereo, you need to make sure that you copy this and pro parameter. And then you're going to want to make sure you put it in here. And it's going to reset the stream, and then you'll see down here when it's ready to go. So now if I hit play, and let's try that again and see how it sounds. To me, that's a lot better. Now it's in stereo, it's much better quality, and that's in 256 um, kilobytes. So you can also hear things like, if you do the Wilhelm screen, let's pause this for a second. And I could have shown this to you, but it would have been in a mono before. But now if I do this, it'll go into, it should go into one, um, I think the right headset or the left. There's, that's my left. Yep. And then if I hit like a force missile, you're going to hear the stereo functionality, which is really cool. Now that's, and again, all you need to do is just, once you have this set up, keep it running and copy this link, send it to your players, and you're good to go. I can do other things, like if I want to improve the quality even more, you can go up to 510 kilobits. Um, you know, maybe you go to, and what you do there is you would add an and, and then change and say audio bit rate. And I'm going to say equals 320. We'll try 320. And again, anytime you set that, you need to change this. But it's really simple. I mean, this is so much simpler than most of the solutions I've used. And again, did I mention it's free? And this guy is very active on his stream. Sorry, on his Discord channel and everywhere. I'm going to copy that and audio bitrate. Put it back here to make sure that the view is picking it up. And again, you can have anyone connect with that view. They have to hit play. And now it should be good to go again. So let's go back to Sirenscape. And we'll do the centipedes again. I don't notice a huge difference, honestly, um, but I do think the quality is a bit better. Now, you should probably be careful, and if you're doing Wi-Fi, which actually I am right now, I'll usually do this over Ethernet, but for now I'm on Wi-Fi. It still sounds pretty good and stable. Let's do a fire spell. Kind of hear that's a little soft for me, but hopefully you guys hear that. So it's really good quality. So the only other thing I want to show you is let's try this. I'm going to bring in the Sirenscape feed. So right now this is going to my headset and out to uh, B3. I'm going to pull in Sirenscape into Discord for a minute because what this will show, you'll hear it directly as I hear it. And then you'll also hear the feed through OBS Ninja. So what you're going to hear is, what, what's the delay here? What's the latency? So let's do a force missile, and you're going to hear it twice, but it's not very delayed at all. Here we go. So honestly, it's really not delayed much. We'll try, uh, I don't know, how about a yay? And sat trombone. So again, I'm going to take off Sirenscape now so you don't hear this twice. But I, I just, I think that is super cool. Um, there's a ton more. So again, if you go to his advanced settings wiki, um, 
this gives you a ton of information on that. Sorry, this is the parameter setting and I'll link this in the video, but it tells you all the types of parameters you can do. A lot of things on videos, you can set up room, um, rooms, you can change stereo, you can do push and pull if you want to pull in audio into a video, but it's super cool and it's using WebRTC. But um, again, super, super easy. Um, that's it for now. I'm going to stop the video here, but i um, really anxious to hear what you all think about this solution. It's, it's got a, an enormous potential to be used in so many other ways. But uh, again, OBS Ninja, um, OBS.Ninja, check it out. And uh, so far, I've found this to be an amazing solution. I hope you all found this video useful. And until next time, I hope to see many of you on the Fantasy Grounds forums.